Hey YouTube, uh, Graydon here, and uh, this video is basically all about this project that I've been working on for the past probably week or two, and yeah, this is a it's a 3D printed, basically a 3D printed Starlink engine. It's been a project, and uh, I've been working on it for a little while now, and I got it to a point where it kind of works, not to the extent that I want it to, but this is a project that I'm going to keep working on so be expecting more videos on this in the future but yeah this is basically version one and to what I expected it it does you know it does what I want it to uh, not to the efficiency that I want it to do it at but progress is progress and you gotta start somewhere this is the engine and now I'm gonna show you a clip of me building it just so you kind of understand how it goes together. Now we're going to jump into the conclusions part on this engine, just to kind of clear some things up. Basically, if you're looking at it, there's a piston in here that moves up and down, and there's a slider plate back here that moves opposite of the piston, so when the slider plate goes up, the piston goes down, and there's actually a little hole in this plate, so when the piston is at the top of its stroke, this valve opens up which lets air in through this nozzle and it basically pushes the piston down and then you know if you keep repeating that it basically just creates circular motion oh yeah this is a flywheel that i printed and it wasn't heavy enough so i just took some basic uh just copper wire really and just wrapped it around it just to give it some weight and it does what i want it to so that's good but yeah you can see like it kind of it's actually very smooth for being 3D printed. Yeah, by the way, there are no bearings in this. Every single part in this is 3D printed except for, you know, the bolts and nuts and bolts that hold it together. But, I mean, for being 100% 3D printed and for not having any, like, like bearings or springs, I, I think it's kind of impressive. So, yeah. But just so you know, I will be making different versions of this. I'm gonna make a version two. And uh, I think my plan is to make a bigger piston in it. And it also it's gonna have a bigger piston stroke. So the vertical displacement's gonna be more. Just because in basic testing, uh, I, I'm not getting the torque I want. And I think I know why. So I'm gonna mess with that. See if I can make a better engine. But with that being said, this is the compressed air model engine version one and stick around because there's going to be a version two. I might even make it, uh, oh, what is it? A double cylinder like model. So the pistons will be opposite of each other. So there's basically no like downtime and yeah, I hope you're there to see it because this is a cool project for me. I really like where this is going. It's been a lot of fun making and designing this. So that being said, I'm Graydon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.